Welcome to Precision Weigh In Balances. Today we're going to show you the Sartorius AZ214 Analytical Balance. So this is Sartorius's economy version of an analytical balance. And you can see we have here a 200 gram class 1 calibration weight. To perform calibration is extremely simple. You first want the balance warmed up for at least 30 minutes. And this balance has been warmed up. You want to press the tear button. Simply press and hold the tear button down and the balance will flash the required calibration weight. So this is the AZ214 and it requires 200 grams. So you place the 200 grams on the center of the platform and the balance will beep. Okay, and so there was a beep. You probably couldn't hear it. But uh, once the calibration is complete, the balance has been calibrated. So calibration is extremely simple. Now these are, the, the calibration weights do not come with the balance itself. So it's an optional accessory and we do highly recommend them. So this particular weight that we're using, this is an ASTM class, this is a class uh, one calibration weight. So you can see it's high quality stainless steel uh, satin finish and we definitely recommend you buy the CalMass. So let's go over a few more of the features and how simple it is to use the balance. So you'll notice with this balance, we have two tear buttons, one on the right and one on the left. So if we were to put an item on, for example, we sell these weigh dishes that are very nice because they're lightweight, and you can put that on the balance and you could tear it out. So you just simply hit the tear button and I can do it either on the right or the left hand side. So if I tear it, there it is. And if I wanted to weigh something, we'll just say I wanted to weigh some, uh, I have some rice here and I'm going to put some rice on and I wanted to weigh it. So if I wanted to weigh rice, well, this pan's too big, but I'll just uh, sprinkle it on. If I wanted to weigh some rice, and you can get an idea of the response time of the balance. The balance is very quick compared to competitive brands. And again, this is their economy version. This is their low-end analytical balance. But you can see the balance altogether, the door should be closed to get a reading, but it's the results are great and fast. And if I drop one grain of rice, it pits it up no problem whatsoever. So um, you do have here on the right hand side, this is the print key. If you were to purchase the balance with an optional printer, the F key is the function key. So if you set this balance up for multiple way modes, you would just press the F key and it would switch. The default of this balance from the factory is grams only. And the CF is just the clear function altogether. If you want, if you're in a function like parts counting mode, the CF would clear that for you. Um, let's go over a few more of the uh, attributes of this analytical balance. The balance measures it as a weigh pan. This weigh pan measures uh, three and a half inches in diameter. So the weighing platform is 3.5. So on Sartorius's other balances, the weigh pan would be much larger. This is a round three and a half inch diameter platform. And you can see you have the weigh platform and this is the pan support. Beneath that, we have a splash shield. So assembling the balance is extremely easy and also easy to clean. You have three doors here on your draft shield. And these doors, they slide right off if you want. You just undo the handle. And this just comes right off and slides the door right out. So it's very simple to clean. If you're in the lab and you want to wash all the glass, it's pretty easy. Or the three glass doors come out at least. Um, to assemble the balance, again, I just want to show you basic setup, how simple it is. You would put in the stainless steel splash shield. You want to make sure that's in flat. You would put in your pan support. I'm sorry, before the pan support, you want to put in your spill ring. 
So your spill ring would go on next, and then your pan support, and then finally your pan. So very, very simple. Now, the height of the draft shield from the top of the way pan to the top of the glass, on this particular model, you would have 7.87 inches. So you do have a tall, you have a tall glass draft shield here. Um, some people like a shorter one, but this is tall, so it's, it's pretty much a standard in the industry. Um, you do have a small footprint. This balance is pretty small altogether, dimension-wise, so in your laboratory, if you are limited with space, the overall dimensions would be 7.4 inches by 9.8 inches in depth, and the total height would be 11.7. The balance does operate off of AC adapter. Um, it is not battery powered, so on the rear of the balance, you can see here, you have your AC adapter that comes standard. You also have an RS-232 interface that's standard. The RS-232 interface on the rear of the balance is a 25-pin connector. So if you do want to tie this to a computer, it is not a standard serial cable. You have to buy Sartorius's RS-232 cable. Um, if it's going to a printer, if you purchase the Sartorius optional printer, the YDP-20 OCE, that comes with the printer cable. So that's the rear of the scale. And also, you have here in the lower corner, this is a sprint bubble indicator to enable you to level the balance. At the very rear, this little hook here, this would be to put a lock on if you wanted to lock down the balance in your laboratory. On the bottom of the balance, uh, you have basically, uh, I don't want to break this, but uh, you have two adjustable feet on the bottom of the balance. So here's, here's one adjustable foot and the other one on the other side. There is no way below hook. Again, this is Sartorius's economy version. So some of the features that you would see in Sartorius's premium quality balances have been uh, removed or they're not incorporated in the entry level. So this is the Sartorius AZ214. There is the AZ124 that would give you 124 grams by a tenth of a milligram and there's the AZ64. So there's three models in this series and again um, balance is extremely easy to operate um, nice response time, small platform, calibration is very simple to do, so very easy to uh, use in your laboratory. We sell a lot of these to the schools and also to laboratories. Uh, the manual, very simple, step-by-step -step instructions, very well detailed. Again, Sartorius does a great job explaining all the key functions, and if you wanted to get into um, application modes and how to set it up. This is uh, net formulation. Um, you can see Sartorius gives you step one, two, three. So it's extremely easy. Some balance manufacturers out there have their manuals so hard to configure because their goal is to have you sign up for a service contract. Um, as you can see, Sartorius's manual is self-explanatory, giving you all the reference codes for configuring the balance and step-by-step -step instructions. So if you have any additional questions, give us a call or visit our website. We are at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We are an authorized Sartorius distributor. We have precision weigh-in balances. Thanks for watching this video.